Hey, what's up, guys? This is Ryan from GFXport. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a sparkling font effect, something like this. Uh, first, we want to start off by opening up a new document. Um, you want to go to your Layers window. Uh, I'm going to start off with like a like grungy background. So I'm just going to grunge it out first with a grunge brush. You can find grunge brushes via Google or DeviantArt.com or pretty much anywhere. There's even a Photoshop brush download website. Alright, so now I grunged out my background. I want to make uh, grab my text tool and I want to find a font. You want to use something that looks like handwriting because it's, it's, uh, it looks the best with this uh, effect. So I'm going to go with uh, Scriptina. Uh, click uh, white here and type in GFX. You want to center it. You can hold the shift key down using the arrow keys. It moves things around a lot quicker for you. Alrighty, so now we want to hold the control key down and click this white text area. And this makes a selection for us. So now we want to go to our paths window. And we want to make a new path by clicking this, in which will make a path from the selection. So we click that, so now we've got our path made. We can go back to this layer, and it doesn't really matter. We don't need it anymore, so we can delete it. We want to make a new layer, though, and we'll name this uh, Sparkle. Oh, come on. Sparkle. All right, so now we got our Sparkle layer here. We can actually start playing around with it. We want to go to our brush tool over here, and we want to use uh, the five hard, hard round brush. And we want to go to Windows, Brushes. And this lets us set the settings for the brush. So diameter, hardness, you can turn the hardness rate down. Spacing, you want to bring it up to like at least 80 something. Shape dynamics, size jitter, you can bring that up to 100%. Roundness jitter, you can bring that up to 100%. Minimum roundness, leave that around 25. That's good like that. Make sure your pen pressure is on. Scattering, uh, 215, 95, that actually looks good there. You can even play around with it more. It scatters the brush around, as you see, if you bring it all the way up. But I, but I want to keep it somewhat around the font so it doesn't look like it's unreadable when it's finished. So 395, we might even bring this down to 250. So we got our brush set right there. Now what we do, this is the pretty much the fun part. This is where it starts coming together. Make sure you're on your sparkle layer. Go click paths, right click, and stroke the path. The first time we're going to put stimulate pressure on because this will add the brushes around the left sides and underneath the font. So we do that, and we want to right click it again, go stroke path, and remove the stimulate pressure this time. So pretty much this gives us more, more little dots, other than just using the normal brush without the stimulate pressure on there. So as you see, we got our little dots going around our font now. It actually looks pretty cool already. So we go to right click our sparkle layer, go to blending options, and right here we want to Let's try to move this over here by keeping it in the same window. We want to add an outer glow. And this outer glow, we're going to go with something. We want to use a lighten. And you can use a yellow, but I, I'm going to go with an orange because it kind of makes it bling out a little more. You can even add a little bit more lightness to it or darkness. It's whatever you guys want to go with. You can add a yellow so it's like super bling. But I'm going to go with a little bit of orange so it looks like it's almost golden. For the drop shadow, you can add, I don't know, you can go with a dark red. It doesn't really matter. You can even add that to lighten as well. Add some spread to it. But even though I have the grunge background down there, you can't really see it. So we might actually just change this to black. Bring the opacity up. Bring the spread down. spread up there bring the distance back some people like using the spread around here so it makes a nice hard outer glow but we can actually leave the drop shadow for now so yeah just unselect the drop shadow there and what we're going to do now is we're going to play around and make this bling out a little bit more so we can actually go back here and go to right click this layer and we want to duplicate it. 
and once we duplicate it, it already makes it a little bit brighter. But we want to go back to the first layer that we started with instead of the sparkle copy. And then we can change this outer glow to a red, like a bright, bright red. And just fan that outer glow right out. And what we want to do, we want to make this outer glow a lot brighter now. So we might actually go up to the yellow. What this does for us is it just it makes the the golden little dots in the middle stand out a lot better by having the red around it. Like as you see, if you remove the background, I'm gonna throw in a solid background color here. I just see it's kind of already glowing. It just doesn't look that great with this grunge background. So actually, we'll we'll work on with just the black background for the time being. So what we do here, we're going to duplicate the sparkle layer again, but what we're going to do is totally remove all that other stuff. Like we can add a drop shadow, just the blacks, just so it thins it out a bit. And we go to convert to smart object, then we want to rasterize it. And now you press control U, and we're going to colorize it. So we can pick any color, I'm going to go with a, a red or something, and just pretty much play around with uh, the different types of blending modes here until you find something that looks pretty decent to work with. You can add a screen in there or a color dodge. Usually I, like every time you do this you get a different different type of glow to it to your font. Like for example if you go back here this is a brighter orange font you, you see all the different layers I made here. Put that to vivid light top up here. But you pretty much just play around with it you can move the layers around you and set this back to normal. Move the layer up and down. Well, you want to make sure you're on the layer. So it adds a little bit of blurriness to it. Add some color dodge. Now you see that's starting to glow a bit more there too. You can add a blending mode, some matter glow to it. Add that to normal. You can even make it a red. Maybe lighten it. But yeah, pretty much every time you do this effect, you get a different different outcome from it. Might even be able to duplicate this layer and add it below all these other layers. And yeah, we'll leave that at color dodge. Then I'm going to press control U. You can even play around with the color settings here. It might not change much since it's behind all those layers. You can right click it, go to blending options, add an outer, outer glow here, go to normal, just see what it looks like just normally. Add some red to it, bust it out a little bit more, bring the range in or out, it's totally up to you. Bring it in a little bit, maybe add some light into it, bring the opacity down. But yeah, that's pretty much how you do a sparkling font effect. I uh, really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, please rate 5 stars and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for checking out my videos.